Welcome to another Simple Engineering Snippet. In this instructional video, we work a steady-state one-dimensional heat conduction example in spherical coordinates. A submersible consists of several layers, including an inner clad of aluminum that is embedded with heaters that are set to maintain a constant 20 degrees Celsius on the inner surface of the submersible. Our goal is to calculate the necessary power in watts supplied to the heaters. We will be using a thermal circuit that consists of elements for conduction and convection for radial heat transfer and spherical coordinates. I hope you find it informative. Let's build the submersible. The inner layer is aluminum clad that is embedded with heaters that are set to maintain 20 degrees Celsius. The clad is thin and we will treat it as a 20 degrees Celsius set boundary condition. The next layer is insulation with a thickness of 1 centimeter. The outer layer is steel with a thickness of 6.5 centimeters. Surrounding the sphere, the ocean temperature is 6 degrees Celsius. The sphere is losing energy due to free convection. The design convection coefficient is 8 watts per meter squared Kelvin. We can take advantage of symmetry and consider only half of the sphere. The conductivities of the insulation and the steel are provided. We will be using a thermal circuit from the internal 20 degrees Celsius to the 6 degrees Celsius ocean temperature. There is conduction going through the insulation and the steel. The thermal resistance for radial heat conduction in spherical coordinates is provided for a single layer with internal radius R sub I and outer radius R sub O. Based on the provided dimensions, we can calculate the inner and outer radii of the insulation and the steel. The results are provided here. There is convection between the steel layer and the ocean. The thermal resistance for convection is provided along with the appropriate radius. Now we set up the thermal circuit. This is the thermal heat conduction equivalent of the well-known Ohm's law from electrical circuits. Instead of a difference in voltage, the driving potential is the difference in temperature. We still need to calculate the value for each thermal resistor in the circuit. We start with the insulation. Now we do the same for the steel layer. Note that even though the thickness of the steel is 6.5 times thicker than the insulation, the resistance is an order of magnitude less than the insulation resistance. This is due to the higher conductivity of the steel. Finally, we calculate the resistance due to convection between the sphere and the ocean. We should note that the units for each resistor is Kelvin per watt. We have everything we need, so we plug in the values in units into the equation to calculate the heat conduction rate. We obtain 1,876 watts. I hope you found this snippet useful. If so, then please like and subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day.